got to put pants on. Talk dirty to me. Hello my beautiful people, it is Che Hutt here and I am back with the part 2 to vlog 54. If you guys missed part 1, I had a little preview of what happened in part 1 so make sure you go check that out if you want to see what I made for Wednesday and Thursday and what happened because it was a wild, wild ride. I need a medal for Thursday which was last night because it, god I just... I was definitely, there's not a lot of moments in dancing where I've been, is this night worth it? But I tell you what, it was one of those nights where it was like, is it worth it? Because it was just a bit too much. <laughs> definitely, it started off really good. It just got really, really intense. And like, I just was getting very, oh. if you want to see everything that happened and why I felt like that, make sure you go check out that video. Let's get on with Thursday. So make sure you go follow all of my social media that is linked below and make sure you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification because 60% of you that watch are not actually subscribed. And I'm trying to get myself back on the algorithm because so many people thought I fell off the center of the earth and I never came back, but here I am and they just can't find my videos anymore. So can we all please subscribe and hit the bell notification to help me out to boost my algorithm and to get me up to 6,000 subscribers because we are so close. We are so very close. So yesterday I actually got recognized in the Macca's drive through I'll insert a video. Hello. <laughs> so it was really, really cute. I was in the Macca's drive through and I saw them like kind of looking at me, but I didn't really think of anything of it. I was like, meh, like blonde girl in a redhead car. Like, I get it. Looked over in my rear view mirror when they actually pulled behind me. This guy like hopped out of the car and he's like, are you the girl from TikTok? And I was like, yeah, that's me. Like I was waiting for my food. And then they were like, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It was really, it was really wild. I, he was like, they were like having a freak out. Like it was insane. Like I looked in the, like I peeked my head out and they were all like, oh my god. Like freaking out it was really, it was really surreal. And like my heart just felt so warm because I had such a bad night that my heart literally just felt so warm. I was just so like beautiful. It was so, so sweet. Brooklyn was like there as well, but she was a couple cars back. So she kind of had this commotion. She's like, what's happening up there? I was like, do you guys want to be in my TikTok? So I like put my phone out the window and he was like, everyone waves, so, like waving to it. And then he was like, oh, you know, my, my friend or my sister thinks, um, you know, says that you're her inspiration. And I was like that, I was yelling back out the window. I was like, this is probably the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Like, thank you guys so much. Like, I was just so touched. I pulled back through the drive-thru and I think he was like, when I'm older, I'm going to come see you. And I'm like, how old are you guys? <laughs> I think that's what they said, but I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't know. And then I pulled into the parking lot and then Brooklyn comes up and I was like did you hear those like those people in the car just like yeah they're telling everybody that you're famous like the like the guy at Macca's that usually serves us was like yeah they just said that she's famous like what because <laughs> he serves me all the time so he's like what and I'm sitting here like I'm not famous I'm definitely not famous like at all but it just was like really really sweet and they drove past me again as I were leaving and they're like bye love you and I was like love you it was just so absolutely heartwarming and so touching and it was just it was just so beautiful and honestly like I just you guys the community that I've built here is just Absolutely phenomenal. I'm, I'm just absolutely gobsmacked to be quite honest with you guys. But anyways, it is Friday We are currently sitting on $1,150 for the week because the manifestations that we said Yesterday actually worked like it generally worked like as you guys probably heard me talk about in the last vlog It generally worked like us sitting here and being like a thousand dollar night is what we've made So we're gonna be doing it again. We're manifesting again. You guys are gonna manifest with me I'm really trying to get into this manifesting journey because at the end of the day I don't believe like you you'll be like I'm gonna make a million dollars and then you'll get a million dollars I think that like if you're keeping it reasonable and then you you know you manifest what you want and It's called lucky girl was it called lucky girl something that's a new manifestation coming out that I've seen everything about Anyways, we're gonna manifest right now. I'm aiming for three grand over I'm gonna make I have made sorry manifestation you go talk like it's already happened I have made three grand over the past over the Friday and Saturday So over the 17th and the 18th I made three thousand dollars which left me on a four thousand dollar week basically above a four thousand dollar week so at the end of friday i walked home on the 17th of february i walked home with fifteen hundred dollars and it was incredible and it was easy money and it was flowy money and it was just a good time and a good hustle and easy chats and easy dances but good dances and it was a really really good night so we made fifteen hundred dollars on the friday that's our manifestation so we're gonna do it again leave your comments below 
as to how much you think I'm gonna make. I just realized that that's not really gonna work, like for me to be able to do like giveaways and stuff because you guys can just skip to the end and have a look. But if you leave some comments below, I might put you guys all in like a drawer or something and we'll do like little fun giveaways or something like that. But I'm gonna wear, so I wore my lilac set the other night, which is this set my underwear and then I wore this set last night tonight I'm not doing stage because I forgot to tell you guys that I oh no I did tell you guys I re-injured my knee so last week I had a back injury this week I've re-injured my knee and it was a little bit spassy when I was on the um, ottoman things so I don't think I will be doing stage the next two days I did I told Layla I was like look I don't think I can do stage I'm gonna see how they go on the ottomans tonight and I should be able to do stage tomorrow but I'm just, I'm actually a little sad because it, it took me like three months to get over many. I don't think I did stage for like three months last time it felt like this. So hopefully I can get it fixed. But I'm going to be wearing this set because this went really well last Friday. So I'm going to wear this one. I love the garters. The garters always look so good. I think on Fridays and Saturdays wearing more of a bra that like makes my titties look like definitely helps a bit more. Because um, you have more of like the younger boys come in and they see like big titties, big booty. Like it's a generic sort of like... Teenage boys usually go for like generic looking shit, which is like big booties, big titties, like, because they're horny. I'm going to use these garters. So these garters are the ones that literally make my booty look incredible. Sometimes I have people be like, oh my god, these look tight. I'm like, they're not. I just look like that ass. <laughs> I'm going to go in. I don't wear stockings with these bad boys, so because I'm not doing stage. Oh, my legs shaved. Yeah, I've got big bruises on my legs, though. Look at that. So what's happened, right, is I'm, I've missed my period, and I've had a little bit of a freak out, because it's like, oh, surely not. And then anyway, it's got my period, but it was like three days and it was like pink watery sort of, and that's, I, that hasn't happened to me ever. So I'm looking it up and I go, signs you could be pregnant. I was like, nah, that's sure, nah, no, absolutely not. That's not, no. So I freaked myself out, even though literally like, I'll test myself anyways, like always, just in case. I don't know, I just, I get freaked out with it. And my, I haven't been hungry lately. I've just been feeling a little ill. Like I've been feeling dizzy. And I'm sitting there, I'm going, oh my God, no, surely not. That's like, that can't be possible. That doesn't make any sense. And then I like, so I freaked myself out, right? Went and got a, went and got a test. Um, Cause you know, girls like to freak themselves out every single time. Even if it's not even possible, somehow you will convince yourself that it is possible. Even though there is just no way that it's possible, but you, you've convinced yourself. So now you've got to go get a test and waste money on tests, right? So I got the most expensive one. Cause a girl is not risking it for a biscuit. It was the most expensive one. I couldn't wait to get home, right? So I went to like the bathrooms there because I was like, I was like, I've got to know now. Didn't realize that these ones were like more advanced technology. So you like have to pee in a cup and dip it in and then it blinks red when to stop and then you pull it out and then you let it sit for like 10 minutes. Didn't realize that's how you do it. So I peed on it and it didn't do anything. I was like, hmm, that's fun. I don't know what that means. Got home, did another one. It was fine. Not pregnant, obviously, because well, I just, it's not possible. And then my dumbass realizes that I actually haven't taken my medication for anemia because I'm severely anemic. Um, and lately I have just not taken any iron medication, haven't had a shot, forgotten all of my meds, like just everything. And then I look it up and yeah, that's, that's it. So hopefully I can fix myself because I'm not th live, laugh, loving in these conditions. I'm not going to lie to you. Not live, laugh, loving. <laughs> so that's been my day. And I've been like just really agitated and irritated. I've just been like, oh God, I've been annoyed. I've been so annoyed, but it's fine. It is what it is. Basically, we, we made $1,500 tonight and tomorrow. Let's go already prove what we already know that I'm gonna make, that I have made. Oh my God, this manifestation thing's hard. I hope you guys can keep up and you don't, I don't it, it's, it's making sense in my head. I hope you, I don't know, I don't know. Let's go make some money. I'm gonna come update you in a little bit, but I just had Cookie come out and tell me that there's a three people near the vending machine that are asking for me right now. So I'm gonna quickly run out there and see if they wanna go for a dance before they leave because they are young, I don't want them to leave. I'm gonna come back out and update you guys soon. Hopefully, I don't know, I don't know who they are, but we'll see. We'll see, I don't know if there's someone I know or if there's someone that wants to book me, we'll see. Here for an update, so last time I talked to you, I had to like run out there. So the people that wanted me, they ended up by leaving. They said they'd come back when stage was open. So I was sort of like, oh no, I missed them. Um, and then I've been talking to these group of people and they usually book pretty well, but they're kind of like messing around at the moment and they're wasting a bit of time. So I'm like, eh, I could have gone for a few other night dances in the time that they like were chatting to me. So I ended up going and that couple, like the, that couple and that girl came back that were here earlier, um, who would ask 
asked them for me at the beginning. They booked a table dance and then they booked me with the girl that's never had a lap dance before for 10 minutes. And also like the girl that I danced for originally, like ages ago, like a year ago, she's pregnant. So that was really exciting like to like see her and be like, oh my God, congratulations. I was like, it was a lap dance I gave you, wasn't it? It was a lap dance I gave you. <laughs> I might get the like, run free in your head to get you knocked up, hey, hey. So I've had a table dance and a tournament dance. So not bad, not great, not bad. Better than nothing. Um, the, it's the same couple that I danced for last week. They're actually out there at the moment. They said that they're going to see how the night goes to book me. My hair needs a bit of a brush, but yeah, other than that, there's not many new people in here. There's a lot of new people at the beginning, but that room's pretty quiet. There's only like three of us in there. So there's not much going on. Guys, it's a bit of a bust at the moment, hey? Like, I've been hustling my booty off. I think it's almost like 11 o'clock. And I do have a regular here, but he's booking another girl. And then he said he's not coming in tomorrow or anything, so he might book me. Um, he's going to make me a little key ring of my dog. It's going to be really beautiful. He's such a sweetheart. There's not much going on. I'm planning my seeds with everyone out there. I've been hustling that couple that I got last week, but they're both being a pain in my ass. They're just like, fing me around. And yeah, basically everyone in here I've talked to, and they're all just not ready to go for a dance yet, so pretty slow I've only had a 10 and a table dance which is not great not great but it's fine it's going to get better I'm just gonna have a really good night last night but still hoping it gets a bit better I guess it's like 12 o'clock and it's kind of looked up I think the last time I talked to you I had yeah I only had a 10 um I ended up by getting another five minute dance so I went over to the pool table and there was a guy that was like playing pool with them but like these two other guys but he wasn't actually he didn't know them he was like just chilling so he took me for a five before I went up to Tats he said oh I'll fit you in for five I was like you're gonna fit me in for a five <laughs> um, and then there was this there's like no one else in the club that's new but we had these four country boys come in and I almost got all of them in a the lap I got one of them in for a five minute dance for his birthday and I had two lined up from the same group so they're both gonna come in and pay you separately for five minute dances instead of um, a couple's but the other one was $2 short, so he went to go ask for money, and then I did the five minute dance that was booked. And then by the time he came back, he just booked someone else because I was already in there with his mate. So, uh, upset that it was another five because there's not much money in the club, but at the same time, I'm not that upset because at the end of the day, like, you know, I left him because he, he walked. I was already in lab, so like, I'm not, not going to be greedy about it. Like, I'm happy another girl made money because it's very, very dead. So, happy to share it around, but not much going on. Um, yes, yeah, so I've had a table dance, a 10 minute dance, and three fives. I feel like this is the Thursday, yesterday was the was the uh, Friday. What's happening? Tom, oh, actually, I figured out what's happening. It's Ed Sheeran. I forgot that Ed Sheeran was on, so no one's here. Because <laughs> Ed Sheeran is on. Um, I think it goes for two days, so this weekend could be pretty quiet. I'm really lucky I went out for a smoke when I did. There was these three people that came in. Um, there was one guy, two girls, and then Jake was like, oh, he just said that he wanted to buy the blonde girl. And after so I was like, okay, threw out half of my smoke, quickly ran in after them. He booked me with her for 15, and then I came out, and then they all wanted to go together. So I didn't give them a couple's price. They just said all separately $15 each. So they all booked me for 15, I mean, not $15, sorry. 15 minutes each so that I got full 15 minutes which is like an easy $400 for 15 well 30 minutes because I had to do the other one separately but not bad guys not so bad and then I walked out and now there's a lot more people in the club I think it's like one o'clock so I'm hoping that I can get some of these young uns. these young uns that just came in so I'm gonna put on some perfume I just brush my hair put on some perfume I think I need to start straightening this so it doesn't look so like meh. Um, and then we're going to try to get the youngins, but yeah, I'm really happy about that because it was pretty quiet before that. I thought it was going to be a pretty night. That's a new thing I'm going to start doing. Anyways, anyways, let's go on the floor and see if I can get some of these youngins in for a little dance. So it's like 1.30. I haven't had a dance since the last time I talked to you guys, which was only like half an hour ago. I've gone and talked to everyone else in the club that isn't with a girl at the moment. All those big groups that I was talking about that came in. There was one guy that seemed like he was keen. Like I was walking over there and I could tell that he was like, oh my god. So I went to go chat to him. He was like, you're, like, you're very beautiful. I was like, thanks. And he was so, I was so close to convincing him to go for a dance until one of his like friends came up and went, you need to go call your mum. So pretty sure they left, which is annoying, but it's fine. It's funny because I went to go out like the front and I took off my shoes and I came back and there was two pairs of my shoes and I'm like, am I seeing something? Perfect, perfect. But yeah, other than that, we're still sitting on like a good amount considering how dead it is. I'm not mad about it. I'm just like still like quite a while away from my actual goal but it's fine maybe I manifested for tomorrow night instead of tonight my bad I've got really bad like belly aches at the moment too which is not nice but yeah 
It's actually, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Everyone's like pretty nice tonight. There's no real dickheads. There is like a guy in here that I was supposed to catch up for a dance with, but I think because I got booked, he ended up booking someone else, which is fine. But I'm um, pretty sure we booked a fantasy room too, and I'm like, ah, damn it, but that's fine. I don't mind. I realize like how much I don't push fantasy rooms. Like I really don't push them that much. I think because like I don't, I, I like don't, Wait, like wait, wasting time and then you have to sort of like wait around to get in and stuff like it. it's not that big a long of a wait but like I just prefer doing like tiny lap dances so it all adds up in that way I don't lose my my patience talking to the same person in so long because I can get a little bit like that it's going all right going pretty good I'll see you guys in a little bit I'm vlogging nothing he just wants a cigarette yeah you got a cigarette we haven't seen each other all night I, I feel like you're like I saw that, I saw that, I was like, love that. And then I would just go like, go on to the bathroom and I'm like, I'm just like, the thing was just like, <laughs> You're like, good night, I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. Brooke and I haven't seen each other like all night. As soon as you came in the door. Anyway, so I was being, I've been working on these two like country boys all night, well, one of them. And then they were like, they finally decided to book a five minute couples and then they decided to rebook. But he was getting a bit kinky, he was getting a little bit throw grabby I was like no 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 um so yeah but they said that they're gonna pull out some more money and then come back a bit later yeah so I went for a yeah and I was like can you stop squeezing my tits like I'm a fucking horse he was like yeah it was pretty like rough yeah and he was like um he didn't really like care yeah I was just like gentler baby gentler and he was like don't call me baby it will, it will, it will awaken something in me I was like just gentler and then he was like okay I'll be gentle just gotta no he was gentler after that because I babied him I was like gentler baby gentler but yeah they booked me for two five minute couples and they said that they're gonna go get some more money out but I think they just wanted to sort of have a break for a bit and then they said they'll be back so I said if they couldn't find me to go into the bathroom and ask for me now Brooke and I are gonna you know what I feel like it's our shared channel at this point our shared channel yeah you're on it so much now everyone's always like where's Brooklyn I, yeah, I just put my hair up because I was just like, maybe it'll wake me up. I don't know what's going <laughs> on. It raises the blood vessels in your head. Are you coming back through here? Are you going out that way? Okay, why are you going out that way? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, well, I'll, okay, I'll meet you out there. All right, guys, last dance was just called. Look how cute Savannah, what is, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> what a beautiful day we've been! What a beautiful day we've been! Alright, we're gonna go do last round to see if there's anyone else that wants a lap dance before we head home because last dance was just called at 2 20. Let's go make some more money! Arms, um, Brooklyn just called me dramatic. <laughs> Mum picked me up, I'm scared. <laughs> Anyways, it's the end of the night. Um, I am exhausted, but. <laughs> To fill you guys in, um, I went over to go check the pool table because I was like, oh, you know, well, I'll do like last rounds. I don't know if I told you guys that. I'm going to do last round, so I went over to the pool tables and they ended up by booking me and Lani in the <clears throat> lap room for a 15 minute and they extended another 15 minute and then another 15 minute. So they ended up by booking us for 45 minutes. My guy was so intense. Like, he was actually really sweet towards the end, but he just kept trying to dirty talk me. Trying to dirty talk me. He's like, who's daddy's little girl? And I was like, when I tell when, when I tell you, I started cackling. Like, I started laughing. I didn't know what to do. And he was like, he was like, Shh, trying to be all sexy. And I was like, and I had to get off him onto the ottoman and be like, no, I can't because I was just like, yeah, no. <laughs> He was just like, he just kept trying to dirty talk me and like I kept being like, if you want to dirty talk me, you got to pay me, but I won't be dirty talking you back. You can dirty talk me if you pay me, but that'll be it. Because when I say that, usually they shut up and they don't actually pay me. And I rather they didn't pay me because I don't want to hear them dirty talk. Because I don't want to do that in my job. That's my personal life. So yeah, that was interesting. I've just never... Uh, and then towards the end he actually started like being a nice not like like opening up and just being nice like not trying to be so like ooh, I'm a like uh, 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 sort of thing so that was alright but yeah at least I got 45 minutes out of that so they're gonna come tomorrow so we'll see we'll see we will see but it's been a really good night actually like I know I've been saying to you guys like oh pretty quiet pretty quiet but pretty damn good for a quiet night I'm excited to see what we made because I think it's gonna be a good amount tomorrow I've got to straighten these parts because these parts are really fucking me off really pissing me off I need to like straighten it to like here I'm trying my best not to talk about my hair anymore you guys know that but like this this part is really bothering me because it looks weird I don't know 
Right, I'm gonna go home and we're gonna see how much money we made. I was gonna vlog Brooklyn, but Brooklyn went um, to go have a cheeky little dart. Cheeky little dart. I'll see you guys when I'm at home and doing our money count. Ooh. All right, guys, it is. Oh, I need pants. I forgot to put pants on. I literally walked out without any pants. Ugh. Oh, he's got a free jiggle of the babies. Harlow's looking at me like, can you not? Baby. Oh, is it baby? She was happy two seconds ago. Anyways, yesterday was shifts kiss towards the end, like those guys at the end. They were actually really, really nice. Like they were really nice. He was just like trying to dirty talk me a lot. And I just don't, yeah, don't do well with that. Um, I, it gets me very uncomfortable, especially cause I'm like, oh, that's not my job. But he was actually like a sweetheart towards like right at the end in our last dance. I was like, see, this is the, this is the guy that you should show people. Like this is actually nice. I enjoy this. And he goes, he went a bit quiet and he was like, oh, I didn't, he was like, oh, okay. Like. I think he, he sort of realized like, you know, don't do the dirty talk to girls straight off the bat. It's weird. Don't do it. Especially if I, even though I'm giving you a nice slap dance, it's just, just why? Most, actually, probably every single dance I will not enjoy it. <laughs> Have a normal chat and then you'll get a better dance. But if the girl feels uncomfortable with you, they're not gonna give you as good of a dance. The dances that I did yesterday, I started off with a big table dance and then I had a 10 minute dance and it was like, that till about 11.30 and then we had, oh, probably had another five minute dance after the 10. And I think that's what I was sitting on at like 11.30. It was not good. And then I ended up by getting two more five minute dances. I had that lady when I was at the front, she wanted a dance. So she booked me for 15 minutes and then I got those three people in there at the same time for 15 minutes each. So I got four 15 minutes in a row. And then I found those two people that I was talking about from right at the end, they booked me for two five minute couple dances and then I, they didn't, I couldn't find anyone else to book me after that. And then so I went over to try my luck at the pool table and they booked me for another three 15 minutes with Lani. So all up, all up in commission, I made $967, which is chef's kiss. I don't have any tips because I was not doing stage because of my knee and my knee's still feeling a little bit better today. I'm gonna give it a miss tonight as well. So hopefully next week I can be back on stage. Um, but I'm going to plus on the $1,150 from Friday, I mean from Wednesdays and Thursday. So all up for the week, I'm sitting on $2,117. Not bad, ladies and gents. That is definitely not bad at all. I'm really, really stoked about that because I was really worried last night for a bit there. I was like, well, you know, I don't think we're going to be able to get the the goal that we had set up for ourselves. I'm just gonna quickly curl this part. Fine, obviously, because that happens, that stuff happens, that's life. But yeah, I was a little bit worried. And then, yeah, we just, we did it. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. And I'm very happy that we did it. I've only just recently learned how to use this thing. I've had this for years and I've never actually known how you curl hair with this. I need a better one, because this one definitely is gonna fry my hair. And it's so fine. There we go, perfect, way better. Is it way better? I don't know to be quite honest. Probably not, it's probably gonna look trash by the end of the night, but it's fine. I'm trying to give the blowout look, so I've curled them all the same way, because yesterday I did different ways, and I just feel like it didn't really, I don't know, I feel like it didn't really go in well, like it didn't blend out very well, is what we're doing. I also curled the main bits underneath, but I feel like that was also too much, like it just made this part of my hair go, and then the rest go kinda eh. Last night, oh, I should probably turn that off. I wore that set, right? I love that set so much, because of the garters and everything, like my booty and all that just looks so good. I'm turning this off before I forget because my cat knows how to turn shit on. I love it because the guard is. So I really want a black pair of the guard is, but anyway, Savannah had like a bag of stuff yesterday for me and Brooklyn to go through and I found this garter in it. Oh, wrong garter. So I'm gonna put it over my black stockings and make the booty look bootylicious. And then I've also got, I'm gonna wear the same thing that I wore last Saturday because I think that what's happening is on Fridays and Saturdays, because we get a younger crowd in, uh, if I wear a big push-up bra for my big booties, boobies and then a garter to make my booty look even bigger, I look like big booty, big titty, small waist sort of thing, which gets a lot of the young crowd in, which is smaller dances, but they add up. And I think that's how I've been getting my big amounts of money is because I sort of appeal more of the younger crowd, which is fine because like I get a lot of people saying I'm 25, 26 looking, I'm 20. Um, but it means I can still like hustle the younger crowd and I'll probably keep my age looking pretty young for quite a while Like I'll still look older, but I still look younger so I can appeal to sort of both crowds. It's great. That's like That's my little thing. I'm hoping we can make you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna go with we're making a minimum of a thousand dollars tonight and then two grand is like the main goal That's the main goal guys Pray those super gods. I need some energy. Probably gonna go like get some Red Bull or something. I'm just like not thriving right now. I feel like Harlow. I literally feel like Harlow. Yep, yeah, that's me, babe. You and me, 
I get it from my mama. I get it from my mama. I'm gonna go to work. Let's go make a thousand dollars. We've already made it actually manifesting. That's right, we're doing the manifesting thing. Already made a thousand dollars. Let's do it. Oh, why am I turning off my lights? Let's do it. I guess I am at the club now. Um, there's a lot of girls in the back, so I'm just gonna make this one really quick and then come up to you guys in a little bit. But we have the owner in tonight. We'll probably do a bit of controlling because we're running along controllers. So well, I'm not gonna really push for fitness rooms. I'm just gonna push for lap dances tonight. Um, when I was out the front, there was a big group of like five country boys that came in. So I'm gonna try to hustle that immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna go pee and then I'll update you guys soon. I am back. Um, I I talked to this guy right at the beginning and he did not seem like he wanted to do anything and then he was like I just want to treat women like shit and I was like well I can treat you like shit in the bonnage room and then after very little convincing he ended up by booking a half an hour in the bonnage room and he was like he was a bit interesting in there like he was very like into it he's like in a poly polyamorous relationship and stuff and he was like I was putting on my whole like oh like yeah I love that like oh my god like let me join he that sort of thing like the way that I talk it sounds fake but he was buying it um so yeah that was good he's still here their friends are here I don't think their friends or anyone else are booking out of their group but that's good that starts me off on a good amount for the night there's no one else that's really new in here I do have one regular that's coming in later he's gonna feel the regular girl so, so I don't know who he's gonna book We'll see. I know there's a VIP booth game book later, so we'll see if we can, if I, if there's some friends that I can in, in with. I've already had an awkward encounter for the night. I went up to the back row. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, I went up to this back row and there's like a bunch of people in the back row, right? And they're all kind of like seeming a little bit, and, and I went and talked to them earlier. And then I like didn't get a chance to introduce myself to this blonde girl. So I went back when her partner was there and I sort of just went, you know, I didn't get a chance to introduce myself to you before. Like, I'm Cherry, nice to meet you. And um, she goes, she tells me her name and it clicks in my head who she is. And I'm just sitting there like, oh no, I put my foot in it. I've been stuck my foot in it. And I turn to the guy who I know is her boyfriend and I'm like, Cherry, nice to meet you. And he's like, says his name and I'm like oh god how do I get out of this now and I'm like so what's your plans for the night trying to hurry up the conversation like not doing any small talk I just straight out asked them what their plans were knowing that they would say no and they go just to watch the stage and it's like oh yeah nice any other plans and they go nope and I'm like it's really awkward silence I'm like good chat <laughs> which I'd never say and then they were, she was kind of like huh and then I got up and walked off and then she was like whispering to her friends and I was like oh god this is uncomfortable um so I used to fuck around with her ex and I didn't know like oh well it shouldn't matter anyways because she was in a relationship anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah I'm pretty sure she knows who I am so that's good fun and fresh love that for me uncomfortable if I will say so I've talked to everyone in here and no one's wanting to go for an answer right now sounds good but I'm uh, a little thrown off by that but it's fine okay guys oh, I wasn't even recording Ugh. keep things not pressing record on the <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did you see me kick that guy out of lap? No. Oh, I kicked this fucking guy out of lap. Because I was in there and he kept putting his hands too close, like to the bum crack. And I was like, no more. Like, you know, if do it again, I'm going to have to kick you out. In came down and said the same thing. And then he, I was like dancing on the ottoman and I came back and he like accidentally went like here. So I just put his hands back. And then he like, perp I went to go sit down. He purposely put his hands like on his lap like this as I went to go sit down and I saw it before I sat down and I was like, no, nah, you're done, <laughs> you're done, you're done. And he was like, what, what? I was like, I just saw what you tried to do there, you sneaky motherfucker. Yeah, I was like, no, no. So yeah, that was the 15 minutes. I think I was like three minutes in. Although I was only three minutes in, so at least I got 15 minutes for basically no work, which is all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, love ya. Um, and then I just did a five minute couples, well I did a five minute couples for this, like this beautiful couple that were really, really sweet. Um, and they booked me for, yeah, five minutes and it was her first time so she's like never been to a strip club before so the other one wanted to show her like a good time. Oh yeah, and, that, and then my friend just did, friend and I just did a ten minute dance for these two young boys. They were tossing up a fantasy room but they said they were going to test out with the lap dance first. They really enjoyed the lap dance. Um, so they said they're gonna go play a game of pool and then come back and book us for a fantasy room. I'm hoping like a blue room because I don't want to get my hair wet. They were pretty good. He actually left his wallet with, and all of his money fell out. Um, so I gave it all back to him. And I was like, hmm, hopefully this proves strippers aren't pieces of shit, basically. So that was good. But hoping that they re they actually do rebook. That's so hot. You did so well. <laughs> you did so well. It's like muscle memory for you. Yeah, I am, but I'll cut it out. <laughs> Are you okay with your voice being in YouTube? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> you did so well. I was like, oh, I want to lick your asshole. And I was like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm that right now. I don't know about that. You're a funny guy. <laughs> Oh, what? queen shit. Alright uh, guys, so those boys that I was talking about before, it's like 12 o'clock now. Um, they ended up by booking my friend and I for a half an hour shower room. So they're getting ready to do that now. It's about a 10 minute wait. So I'm just going to go to the bathroom, put on some more perfume. Tying this up in the shower room is literally hell. I don't know how I'm going to do it without getting my hair wet, like without getting the curls wet in it. But we're going to figure it out. I might put a little shower cap on. It might be hilarious. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, I hate doing shower rooms because my hair gets wet. The one that I was like, I really don't want to do a shower room because my hair's like perfectly. That sounds so like bratty. Like, I don't want to do a shower room, but like blue room or something. But my hair. <laughs> but I'm still really happy that they booked it. Like, very, very happy because it is dead at the moment. Like, absolutely dead. Absolutely dead. Alright, guys, so I just finished up that shower room. It was really, really good. They're really, really sweet. Um, they're thinking about going again a bit later, and they did hold up their end of the bargain the first time. So, let's see if they want to go again in a little bit. But I just like went into Savannah and her patron. They're like, oh my god, look at that girl's ass. And this girl was like walking through the club. And I was like, holy shit, like she's got an incredible body. So I went up to her. I was like, hey, look, like this might seem weird, but like, are you a dancer? And she's like, yeah, I'm a dancer in Brisbane. Like, I'm looking to move back. Like, I'm moving back here soon. And I was like, do you want a job? Like, do you want a job? Because she was impeccable like actually impeccable and she's like you're so beautiful i was like oh my god no you are just just oh stunning like everything about it was just absolute chef's kiss but yeah there seems to be a few more people in the club right now not a lot a few so at least that's something but yeah yeah man i tried not to get my hair wet didn't get too wet it's got a bit of a kink in it now though oh cute all right guys there's some beautiful people that watch me on um youtube and tiktok they just brought me some subway because last time i said how much i'd kill for subway because when i go up there um it's already closed so i usually just get maccas or something if i'm gonna get food after work and they brought me subway and so i put them in my tiktok here's, here's a video of them here absolutely <laughs> beautiful i love them so much they were like not sure what you wanted so they got me like the pizza meatball and um some lettuce and cucumber and stuff so i'm gonna eat this very shortly but oh my god the owner was watching me like what is happening so I've done a, another dance, I've done a couple's 10 minute and I was a little bit nervous at first because they're like, they were a lot older and I wasn't sure if they were really into it because she had just won a bunch of money, I didn't know if he was like dragging her in there but they were actually pretty good in there, I was just a little nervous, Frankie was like, you look nervous, I was like, yeah, a little bit. Um, anyways, and I was sitting there and like I got a text this morning from someone and I was kind of like, oh yeah, like, I don't really like think much of it because he went to the candy shop mansion. Um, anyways, he texted me, he's like famous, I didn't know this, and he was like coming in tonight. Um, and like he was like oh yeah we were here in the VIP booth but like we might be back later I was like oh I missed him so I came out and told my friend and my friend was like oh you wouldn't believe this told me about it and I was like oh but like someone she knows is like a fan of him and I was like oh so I texted him I was like hey like are you coming back in because I just wanted to come say I wanted to say hi anyways because he texted me earlier like in the day just to like I don't know just chat how cool how cool is that the, the more you know like they're pretty fancy if you ask me I don't know ah, what's happening all right guys so Hi, I'm Cherry Hunt, official 411 gang gang on a 28 degree. Okay, signing out, bye. <laughs> Since the end of the night, I ended up by meeting up with that guy I was talking about um, that texted me who's um, like on TikTok and stuff, and we organized some stuff to do. So that should be fun, that should be good. We'll text and see, see what the plans are, some little business ventures. That's really exciting it was really really sweet like really really nice honestly he was like yeah i love coming to Toowoomba because you know like in, in the gold coast like people were like oh my god i know you whereas here everyone's kind of like oh yeah like nice i'm like i love that he was he was very sweet like king shit we love him um he was just like honestly a really really good chat but yeah i talked to him for like an hour because there's no one out there so we just talked for like an hour which i usually don't do but he was really really nice so that was really good yeah 
I'm going to go get paid now and then I'm going to count my money for you guys soon. I think it was a really, really good week. I'm really excited about it. I look a bit rough. I don't look this rough and like my normal eyes. What's happening here? Maybe it's just the angle. This is from this week, but I was taking a YouTube thumbnail for last week's video. Is that better? Why do I look whack today? Like I just look like a boy. Why do I look like a boy? What is it? My hair's so dry. I'm getting a hair mask for it because it's just dry. But it is February 19th, Sunday. We're gonna go through what I made last night and what I've made for the week. I still look funky. Why do I look so funky today? I just don't look, I look inflated. I don't know what it is. Today I ended up by making not too much. Like it was still a good night. It was more of a quiet night, but I did have two fantasy rooms last night, which I was pretty surprised about because, well, it was just quiet. Like, I managed to hustle a fantasy room straight at the beginning of the night, which I did not think I was going to get with that guy. And then I got a 15-minute dance, um, a 5-minute couples, a another, no, a shower room booking, and then a 10-minute couple dance. So, all up and no tips because I didn't do stage, which is, like, sad because I feel like I do make a good amount on stage, so it always bumps up my totals over the week. If you want to leave a comment below, do it now so you can see... So you can leave a little comment before I give you guys my total. You can see if you're right. All right, so all up ended up making $668 in commission for Saturday night, which is all right. Like, actually, it's not great, but it's really not that great, actually. Not great at all. Friday was better, and so was Thursday. Funny that, hey, like, it just depends on, like, what kind of days of the week you you go in and like who comes through the doors and i know wednesday next week i have a booking well sort of maybe one of our regulars he's gonna book a booth and he said that he was gonna book my friend up there but i think he's gonna have some friends and he's gonna book that are gonna book me up there so hopefully fingers crossed i just can't get over how in, like whack i look today what's going on like why do i look like this let's go through the total that i made oh yeah let's do it so nice like it's been a good week, ladies and gents. It's been a good week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. So two thousand. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. So that's seven hundred. Did I count that part right? Oh my god, what is going on tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Seven hundred. My god, that was a mission. Seven hundred and twenty. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So all up for the week, after three counts of money counts, I made $2,760, I think I just said. I already lost count. My brain is not doing well. 50, 60, yeah, $70. So all up I made $2,770 for the week. I am very stoked that we've Basically, if I did stage, I reckon I would have bumped it over a three grand week, but I'm very, very happy that I've managed to make another basically three grand week. Well, close enough to three grand. Um, we've been on a roll this year, guys. We've been on a roll. We've been coming in hot and I'm so excited because I'm planning a lot of travel this year and I'm really excited to just do a lot of things. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with this because yeah, even though it was quiet, it was good hustle. Like I've really, really been working on my hustling and I've really been, it's been paying off. Like, uh, here's all the coins that I got, but I don't really count them. Well, I do. Well, two, four, six, eight, basically another $10. So almost $2,800. Um, I just, I'm really, really happy because, yeah, I've just been working really, really hard and I'm really proud of myself, honestly, to be where I am. Um, in my life right now and just like all the little things that are happening and i've got so much stuff to tell you guys wait oh wait i just worked yeah no this isn't next week's vlog anyways i've just got so much stuff that let's that's planned like when i met that guy last night like the business stuff that we were talking about and like the business ventures that i could be involved in with him and like there's a few other things there's this girl that asked me to be involved in a music video and she i've met like i've sort of saw her before and so 
I'm like a fan of her music and stuff and so there's this girl that asked me to be a part of a music video and I'm a fan of her music and stuff so that's pretty surreal and just like all these little things that are all just happening and I just couldn't be more grateful and I honestly wouldn't be in the position that I am if you guys didn't start watching me and taking a chance on this girl from a small town just trying to make some fun out of her life and I, oh, I love you guys so much and I remember, I remember getting emotional when I hit like 50 subs and then 100 subs and then 1,000 subs and now we're up to almost 6,000 subs and it's like I it's been a year and I've I've worked so hard and you guys have been here for the journey through my ups and my downs and through everything and you know I have had people say that I've changed but honestly I don't think I've changed I think that I've just become a lot more comfortable with myself in front of the camera and with you guys and just with who I am as a person and I'm just really really happy and I've still I think still got the cute little I still got the goofy personality that I've always had I just I'm just really proud of myself and I just want to thank you guys so much for sticking by me and being a part of this family um, always because you guys have made me really get to experience some incredible things and I couldn't be more grateful for it so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video from me all my videos have been sort of shadow banned from YouTube and TikTok and stuff so please make sure you go like all my videos from TikTok and Instagram and stuff to get me out of the shadow ban exile on everything um i love you guys so much all of my stuff is linked below and i will see you guys next week let's game for another put in the manifestations for next week so far and also my tra i've got tretinoin i've done my tretinoin so next week you'll be able to see how my skin looks with the tretinoin all right let's get some fun oh no no we're not we're, we're not having fun well you well we are depends depends what you're doing we're all having fun we're having fun this family all right i'll see you next week talk dirty to me